Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, it's your girl Dana here, and I was just going to do a little segment of what I've got in my closet. Um, as you can tell, I'm in, in um, authentic, traditional Chinese, ki pao right now. So, um, I just wanted to share some of my favorite fashion pieces with you guys. So, let's go in and have a look, okay? Okay, so we're in my humble abode now, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite fashion pieces. I'm sticking with the really unique stuff, pretty much, um, because I have a lot of stuff, and I've collected fashions for, like, I don't know, 10, 12 years. Not as much in the last few years, but I always say, well, this stuff won't go out of style, because, number one, I don't follow trends, and so I'm like, well, if I ever need it and actually have somewhere to wear it, I've got it, you know, um, because that's the thing with my work schedule. I really don't have many places or time to wear this stuff, but I feel like I just enjoy it and it it just shows off my my personal taste. And also, I just don't treat clothes like your regular work clothes and whatnot. I mean, some of these things are made of the most beautiful textiles and with so much detail in the stitching and it's just like an art rather than just clothing so but let's check out some of my favorite pieces then okay so y'all know that I'm not um, I'm not a materialistic person I mean you guys know that I'm pretty open about that but I do have eight Chinese dresses and I'm going to show them to you now Okay, so here's my traditional Chinese dresses. The first three there are just your basic one, like the one that I have on. And then if you move down, the next one, I don't know. Can I get my, do you, <laughs> does my finger look funny? Then that one right there, you, um, you actually in the middle, you put a belt around it. So it gives you like an hourglass effect it's um it's more of a modern twist and the one next to it has a keyhole there um it's kind of hard to reach across my bed here to show you but it has a keyhole right beneath the neck there if so it'll show a little bit of skin it kind of makes it a little sexy or whatever but it's not brocade like these it's it's actually cotton these two and then i have a long sleeve one which has fur, I'm climbing over my bed here, <laughs> it has fur um, at the sleeves. And so there's those. And then I also have a long one. And it has a high collar here that you wear high. So um, that is that. So that's for those. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, of course, there's also, so that's my collection of Chinese dresses. I love them because they're form-fitting and they're regal and very feminine. And they kind of accentuate your curves, but without showing a lot of skin. I feel like sometimes women think they've got to show a ton of skin to be pretty or sexy and that's really not necessarily the case. So I just have always gotten a lot of compliments on them when I've worn them and I like them. So that's that. Here's kind of like my Madonna little inspiration dress and it's got all this tulle here, kind of like a tutu. And then there's this one. It's got, if you can see there, the uh, ruffle, you wear this over your shoulder and then there's the waist it's really kind of hard to see it but it uh you get the idea so anyway it's really glittery with the sequins in that so i like that okay my beautiful mark jacobs dress it's um gold and yellow and it's got all these nice tears um ruffles and yeah, so that's one of my favorites, too. Hey, 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 it's my favorite designer, John Galliano. The dress on the right I've worn a few times, 
And I always wear a shirt underneath like a turtleneck, wear it like a jumper. The other one is actually velvet and it's one sleeve. It has the one sleeve there and then it, um, it goes under the arm on the other side. And it has his name in there as you can see. I just love, love, love the colorful, uh, vibrant prints that he uses. He's my favorite designer for that reason because I love color. So, And then down here we've got my uh, Moschino dress, the striped one anyway. The striped one and it really is very thin. It, ha it has a slip dress underneath. It's uh, very thin and flowy and it blouses when you wear it. It's, right now it's just hanging but it uh, doesn't have that effect when it's on. And then of course there's this cocktail number at the very end, which would be really nice to wear as a holiday dress. Um, but I don't think it will ever fit me. <laughs> I thought it was going to be bigger than it was when I got it online, and I've just held on to it because I like how different it is, but it is quite small. So, but that's that. Hey, and speaking of color, some more dazzling Moschino. Um, this top, I was in a bidding war for that. And in the center, it is missing one of the bows, but I have the bow. It's pink, and I just need to, um, uh-oh, look at who decided to visit us. It's Toppers. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. He's feeling lonesome. That's so cute. So, um, but anyway, um, I need to just sew that, stitch that bow back on because it is kind of a, fragile but you can see all the detail here there's even sequins in there in that skirt which is just a pencil skirt let's see here at the edges you know each thing is kind of um what's going on here <laughs> what's going on here huh we've got a visitor who wants to show off the clothes so anyway, that's that, but I love it because I love color, and it's it's a very form-fitting outfit when it's on, and just, like I said, it's below knee-length skirt, but um, it fits like a glove. Okay, so now this, you probably can't see it real well, but it's my um, Alexander McQueen dress, R.I.P. to him, and it's just a strapless dress and with um, in this really pretty lime green. This here is a belt to wear around the center, and you can see it has a lot of detail with the suede corset style tying there. And then it, it ends just a little, it's kind of like, it's a shorter dress, and it ends like above your knee in the uh, ruffles. So that's another one. Probably my, cra probably my craziest, tackiest skirt right here. Um, I'm not even sure where I got this. It's a mini, and it's kind of probably hard to see, kind of. But, um, and I'm not even sure if that's supposed to be the front or the back. I think it's, I'm not sure. <laughs> there doesn't appear to be a tag in there anywhere. But that's my crazy, my crazy skirt. So what would a wardrobe be without leather, right? <laughs> On the right is my Bloomingdale's black leather mini dress. Um, with gold-plated zippers on it. My mom actually found that at an estate sale, and I just love it. I've worn it quite a few times, but not as of recent. And then there's the blue one on the left, and it, it needs to be... I mean, this stuff's been hanging over here in my closet like crazy, and like my closet, as you can see here, is uh, pretty well stuffed. Over here, I mean, it's just like stuffed. Ooh, I've got my motorcycle jacket here, too. I totally forgot about that. I wonder, oh, I know back here somewhere I've totally got a, a really vintage jacket. Let me see if I can find that. Mm. <laughs> so that's, that's this right here. And it's, um, well, it's a fitted jean jacket, you know. I mean, you can't really see it real well, but it would go really good with, like, my orange denim mini skirts. So, and I've worn it with it before, but I, there's just so much.
I gotta show off my Dulce and Gabbana jeans. Uh-oh. What do we have going on over here? Excuse me. Um, hello? 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 What's going on in there? Huh? What's going on? He is so persnickety. Anyway, it's got the D and the G that you for the belt buckles, you know, around the waist. So, um, and then there's my uh, Versace jeans. These are crazy cute. That's the back pocket to them. And my Versace jeans have Versace down the leg. So, I really like those. Those are like really, really snazzy. So, Alrighty, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my little tour of some of my favorite fashions. I don't know if you could really see a lot of them very well. I don't have the very best setup for it. But uh, just wanted to show you some of my stuff, some of the stuff I've collected and enjoy. So, ladies, enjoy being a girly and enjoy, you know, your feminine side. And I'll talk to y'all later. I'll see you on Facebook pretty soon. All right, have a good evening, guys.